Hi there, welcome back to the garage. Or oh, if you've got a BMW and you've got that little pesky light on the dashboard, DPF warning light, you've probably got a couple of faults in your system. You'll need a code reader, I've got the D7. You might be getting a fault 452A or 4D4A. If you've got those, you need a scanner tool that can reset the DPF. DPF filter, diesel particulate filter, it's got an end of life on it, believe it or not. So after 250,000 kilometers, BMW deem these to be, well, finished, end of life, and you need to replace them. It's not the case though. We've stripped one down in the past that's done the 250,000 kilometers, and it was absolutely fine. It just needed to be reset so that the car thought we'd put a new one on there. So yeah, let's get out to the car. I've got this D7 scanner from X-Tool, and let's give it a go. Let's reset this car, show you how easy it is. Save you an absolute fortune. This is the 2013 One Series BMW Coupe. Uh, it's got the 118 diesel engine in it. We'll just plug that straight into the EOBD socket. The tool will do an automatic scan on the system, find the car and tell us what's wrong with it. Right, engine system control. Let's go into diagnostic there. Uh, read trouble code. This is the one we're interested in, the second one down, 452A. Info particulate filter system. So the particular filters, they have a mileage on them. They say, well, this has done 130,000 miles, so it must have exceeded its amount that they say it can do. Um, so what we need to do now is find it in all the settings. So let's have a little look, see if we can go out of that. Yeah, we want to leave that. Maintenance, possibly. Uh, maintenance in there. No, not that one. Um, power, this is like a powertrain. Okay. Ah, here we go. Particular filter replace. So we click on that. And we can now reset it as if we put a new one on there. So you can read the remaining mileage, see how long it says you've got left on your filter. So let's just go into that. Although this says 51,000 left, it's brought the light on. So it must do it early. It's saying it's got 51, remaining mileage is 51,000. Okay, all right. Um, let's go back into this and we'll tell it we've replaced it. Um, do you want to reset the trim values? Yes, let's try that, see if we can uh, reset the values. Yeah. Okay. So now let's, let's just re Go back on that again and read the remaining mileage. It said 52 originally. What does it say now? Oh. Come on. Oops. Read the remaining mileage. Continue. Aha, there we go, look. <laughs> We're back up to 250,000 miles. So hopefully now, when we go back out of this, and we'll go back out of that as well. Um, Let's just do a code read on it. So we've got that, let's now clear the code on it. Let's go back, clear code, fast code clearance. Will it let me do that on this section without going to the other one? Um, turn off the ignition, wait for five seconds. I'll put the ignition back on again. Okay, that. And let's just do a code read again. Bingo. So we've got rid of now the DPF fault that it was saying we had. Well, that were nice and easy to do. We've reset the car. It's all good. It thinks it's got a new one on there. Fault's gone back to normal. Absolutely good as gold. I'll put links in the description for code readers. Um, we've got the X-Tool, like I say, D7S here. We've got the X-Tool... 819 that did the same job i did that on a three series with the 819 worked a treat also you've got things like the top don um, rt direct pro that will do the same function there's a few others out there i'll put links into the description for the ones that i've got that will do the job um, if you enjoyed the video if it's been used drop me a little thumbs up like subscribe and i'll see you in the next video thanks for watching <laughs>
a good day. Wake up. Today's gonna be a good day. Wake up. Today's gonna be a good day. Wake up. Today's gonna be a good day.